there are no accidents. Uh, you're not in the world accidentally. What is happening in the world isn't accidental. And we just figure that out as we move along. As long as humans have been in the world, civilizations have existed, we've moved through different changes and uh, created new worlds, new civilizations. That's why everything looks so different. It's called evolving. But when we're here, it seems really confusing when things show up like they have recently. But this is a very different time, and you've seen that, and you've known that. I've talked about it quite a bit. I had trouble accepting all of this as well, except it keeps coming up, so I'm going to choose to believe it. We are each given something to bring to the world, um, and we don't know what that is when we're born, when we're, it just happens as we're living our lives. Really quickly, I, I, I was um, doing my laundry last night, <laughs> that's what happened, and I was listening to um, a, a video of the uh, Hermetic um, Hermetica. It was called the Hermetica. And this is all the stuff that comes from the Hermetic principles and philosophies and all of that. And so I never studied any of that. I didn't know anything about it, except I, I started hearing certain similarities to what's come through with my Wilhelm. And I thought, that's really kind of crazy. And so I went back and I looked at some of the messages that came through in 2012 in, that are in your life operating instructions and I thought wow there is a similarity there that I I didn't couldn't figure out I did this message and I put it on any advice for today uh, this morning because I had a video from dr. Bruce Lipton I've spoken of him before and he explains things in a way to me that has this makes sense we are coming to understand that there's this marriage which I guess I'm supposed to bring together of spirit spirit and spirituality that's how um, our world is created and I I've been talking about this forever I didn't even know why I was saying it I just had this information this knowledge about it but I said if we were to do something if we each were to do something we would change the world we would absolutely change the world and that actually I wrote that um, the first time that came to me was about um, 2006 15 I believe it was and and it didn't make sense then we evolve and we understand and we accept um, more information but it's the acceptance part because see, we'll think it's crazy we'll think we don't believe it you've done that in your life about something that's been in front of you you don't know um, if you can do it or if it's for you but the biggest one and I put something out yesterday about this imposter syndrome because so many people have that one thinking that they have some big idea something they're meant to do but it's not them it's a, an imposter they're just making it up I did that I told you I, I did that so long and I thought no that's made up because see then you have to decide I'm going to believe myself and move forward certain people do that not not everyone will do that we know that but that's because we only have certain people who are really wealthy and successful and all that because they just decided to believe themselves they just decided yeah maybe I'm here to, to offer something and I'm not talking just about the money. It's about what you have in terms of your your essence, whatever it was that you brought to the world, because everybody has something. So as I'm listening, I'm going to do a few of these over the next couple of days, because I, I, I really want to explain it. But I went back and I found one message that made sense. And how did I have it back then? But what what it was about was the mind. I thought, how did I get to be, I had terrible life. I had all kinds of stuff happening. I, you know this, <laughs> I've had everything imaginable that one could go through happen. And I thought, and parts of my life, I thought I shouldn't even be here. I didn't want to live. I and how did that change? I didn't get all of this. How did that change? It's because I've been doing this work. And then why does, was this so effective? because it's about the mind. That entire thing, I didn't get this before, but my entire program is about you using your mind. This has nothing to do with anything else. It's about using your mind to figure out why you're here and to do something that causes you to, to live a life where you're successful, happy, and have everything you want. That's all it is. We each have that. But then we said, no, it couldn't be me. See, and I did that. And I had, I'm had i still getting over that when I told you. I, that's why I had to get to work with somebody else who can look at this. And, and I'm, I'm thrilled because he's so excited because he's getting the value out of it. But he's a business guy and he knows how to get this out there. And But he could see 
what was there. And he got so excited. He says, this is really helping me. I thought, okay, great. Because you can't see what's within you. That's why we go to coaches and, and mentors and all of that. You don't see it. And then if you keep, if you, if you listen to that video, you'll understand. Because we train ourselves in a particular way. And that's what I did. We all do it. But let me read you this one. This is from Your Life Operating Instructions. It is never too late for you to be, do, have, or create anything you truly desire during your physical life experience. I want to say this because I didn't get this before either. Every, pre pretty much every single message that they gave me during that time, 2012, was about your physical life experience. And it means that we're not here forever. We, we die. We're physical beings now. We die. But what are we going to do while we're here and what are we going to leave? And uh, there's uh, when you listen to some of these things, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of understand um, the pr progression. That's the best way I want to talk about the progression that we each have in our lives. So it is important for you to start to become aware of the times where you are holding a belief that it is too late for you to do anything. For in those instances, you have accepted limitation, which is completely the opposite of expansion, which you, which you sought to accomplish on this journey, meaning being in the world. That's what we want. We each want to evolve, come to the next level. That's why my program is about self-actualization, because you keep going. There's always more. Then, it is never too late for you to change your mind about your potential abilities and becoming the person you always intended. Any thought of limitation is something that you have made up by your, uh, some, that has something that has been made up by your world. And if you accept it, that will be your personal reality. Wow, that's exactly it. <laughs> this will help you. We're going to still move through some, as I said, some crazy times, and it's gonna be a little bit a while. This is why I said from my program, people need to stay in for at least a year to get settled and all of that. What happens is, and I understand now, I have been training my mind all this time with receiving this information and, and that has given, that's because that's the only thing you experience. You get to this place where you see things differently. You're not afraid of death. You're not afraid of many things. You're not afraid of yourself. You keep going. It's called evolving. And so I hope you all understand that. There's going to be more on, um, on Saturday. I hope you come to the um, channeling session with Wilhelm because I know there's more coming through and there's uh, we're moving through some great times. But if we understand that we have the ability to actualize ourselves, that changes the world. That's something that most people have never figured out. You doing something for you, taking care of yourself, becoming successful, that changes our world. I hope you guys get this. All right, see you soon.